actually this is a very uh, big challenge when I came back to China. I work more or less like a European architect. I find out different maps, different scale to see what is the situation of the region, and the city, of the, the district and, uh, and the neighborhoods. Uh, and then you go uh, on site and uh, you, you take the picture, etc. But that doesn't work at all in this way in China. I mean, you have the tall building as the low building, you have the, the square building as the round building, you have the red and, the, and, and black, and yellow, and, and you have the European style and you have Chinese style. Everything is put together. So, what is your reference and with who you want to dialogue with? You have a neighbor here and you have another neighbor there. And maybe, maybe uh, when your building will be built, your neighbor disappear already. So this is the urban context. You, you have no reference. Apparently you can do anything. <laughs> We don't know where we are going. Uh, I mean, we don't know what will be the future city situation. What will be what it will looks like the future cities. I think we are making the future cities. All we have been told uh, about city, it's it's dis disappearing. So. Every, every notion about the urban design. So we should, for instance, line up uh, the streets and we should create the squares. We should have a green area. Those kind of, or we, we should have a kind of harmony uh, of architecture is disappearing. And we, we have to admit it. I mean, you, you don't have, already as architects, you're not important at all. Architecture is not important. Because finally, you make very uh, micro climates or situation. But you, you cannot have more in influence about life at all, or, or, or the urban situation. So it's just a uh, a very small oper operation. But the big difference or big difference between between uh, Asian people and uh, and European or Western people is I think we are much less uh, conservatives. Everybody is expecting something new and different. Uh, so in, in that way, we don't have the same expectation about our future or about our, our, our life. Uh, another maybe basic or uh, fundamental uh, difference between Chinese and uh, or Asian and, and Western people uh, of their mind is this kind of uh, Permanence of materiality. We think it's normal uh, that the architecture will be damaged by the time. But actually, in your, your country, from Rome uh, time, you put a kind of a permanence concept on architecture for temple or for everything. And here we built it just for a very short human life period. And it, it can be disappear, uh, disappear or it can be replaced. And so in Europe, you cannot admire something is replaced. It's just not possible. But here, everything, every material stuff 
is permanently replaced by something similar. Uh, so what is prominent for Chinese people is spirit, it's not material. I mean, the single architecture hasn't evaluated for thousands of years. Uh, so if you're not experts, you cannot distinguish which is the uh, Han style and which, which is the Song style and which is Han style. So every style is just a, a small variation. It doesn't matter for people that you replace something by the same stuff or the same style. Uh, that's the big fight actually uh, uh, nowadays. Uh, big fight of the copyrights, the intellectual rights. Because actually the Western people is attack Chinese people uh, making a copy very well. Uh, but that is what we have done for thousand and thousand years time. So we copy the same architecture uh, for the generation and the generations. And we copy the war uh, of the Confucius uh, from, from very early age. Uh, you are treated to know what is uh, taught to you by your ancestor. So if you are working on another way, uh, it is wrong. But you are copying, it is right. Uh, Western people cannot cannot understand why finally we are destroying huge of ancient architecture and replacing by the new architecture who looks like exactly of the old style or old ancient style. But that is the way that the, the Chinese people working for generations and generations.